Hey everyone, Jordan here from Zenata Consulting, and today we're going to go over Ring Central and how to connect it to Zoho One so that your team can make and log their calls from inside of Zoho CRM via the Ring Central app. Before we get in though, don't forget to smash that like button and hit the notification bell. Not only does it help our channel, but it'll also help keep you up to date when we create new content so you can keep up with anything new in Zoho. Without further ado, let's dive in. So there are three things we're going to want to look at today. The first is how to make the initial connection between Ring Central and Zoho when you're logged into Zoho as an administrator. The second is looking at Zoho from a user's perspective. Typically someone like a salesperson logged into CRM trying to make a call from Ring Central for the first time, as well as what it'll look like when they make calls from Ring Central the second and third times once they've made that initial connection. Finally, we'll look at some troubleshooting tips so I can help you try to understand what to look for when a user is having issues so that hopefully when they call you up with issues, they can't dial out of Ring Central, it's dialing out of FaceTime for some reason. I can help you know what to look at to hopefully fix those within just a few minutes. So let's take a look at number one. You'll want to log into Zoho as an administrator and specifically you'll want to go to one.zoho.com. Once you're logged into one.zoho.com as an administrator, you're going to want to hit the settings icon in the upper right corner. And then in your apps menu here, you're going to want to go to marketplace. You should see a page like this where you have an option to browse applications or access telephony. You're going to want to click the button to access the telephony marketplace. And then from here, you might see a page like this, or you may be taken to a page like this. If you get this page here, you're going to want to click this blue view marketplace button, and that will take you to the first page that you saw when I clicked the telephony area. From here, you can see Ring Central's right at the top of the list as it is the recommended app for using telephony with Zoho. And if I click on Ring Central, you should see the option to install this app. This will be an organization wide thing. So you only have to do this once when you're logged in as the administrator. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And here you can choose whether you want it to be for all users or only specific users on the team. So if you have a lot of users in Zoho and only your 10 user sales staff needs to actually have access to Ring Central, you certainly can choose to do specific users and then select the users you want to have access. But for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to go ahead and choose that all users are going to be using Ring Central moving forward. If I click the install button there, that's really it. And immediately I'm going to get this prompt asking me to log into my actual Ring Central account. So from here, if you are one of the people who will be making calls, you can certainly click on the login to Ring Central button and log in and create that connection. But I'm actually going to swap over to the perspective of an actual user and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so now I'm logged in as a user and let's say I'm logged in as the sales user, Brett. Our salesman Brett is logged into CRM, is working his leads and he needs to make a phone call to, let's say this lead here, Kaylee. If I click into the lead here, what you're going to see is the option to phone has a green icon for call. And if I click on that icon, it's going to ask me by default if I wanna make a call from Skype, which is not what we're looking to do. Instead, what you're going to wanna to do to set up the connection for the first time is in the very bottom right corner, you should see this little gear icon that says phone. You need to have each individual user click on this icon and they'll get the prompt to log into Ring Central Phone Bridge. The same login prompt we saw a minute ago when we were in the admin account. This does need to be done by each individual user and occasionally they may get logged out of Ring Central if let's say they're using it in an, like on a different phone or use a different device that causes it to log out inside of Zoho. So at any time, if that connection is broken and it's trying to dial through their browser, they simply need to click that phone icon again and then log into Ring Central to log into Ring Central so the connection is made. If I click that, it's going to prompt me with the standard login for Ring Central. If they've already logged in in this browser, they should have the ability to continue as. Otherwise, it will prompt them for the email and then the password, just like if you're logging into Google or any other app. I'm going to choose to continue as Brett Martin and it's going to ask me to confirm that I want Ring Central to have access with Zoho. They just want to go ahead and authorize that. And then if they've got multiple numbers, it may ask them to choose which digital line they're looking to use. I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Should see a green message across the top there that lets you know you've logged into Ring Central successfully and for this particular user brett they're done they've now connected that uh, that app and they're ready to go the next thing to decide is when i'm calling through ring central how do i want it to dial through ring central for example do i want to use the ring central desktop app or am i using a soft phone if i go into the bottom right corner again and click on that phone icon now that i've created the connection i should see a preferences option and if i click on that preferences option 
it lets me choose how I want to make these calls. Personally, I'm going to assume that most people want to use the Ring Central desktop app if they're dialing from a phone. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Ring Central desktop app. And I will get a prompt letting me know that I naturally have to have that app on my computer in order to do that. I actually have gone ahead and uninstalled the app, so I should be able to install it fresh right now by clicking the here button, which will pop me into a new browser tab. And then I'm on a Mac, so I would click the download for Mac button. Obviously, if they're on a Windows computer, they will want to download for Windows. I'm gonna to click to download this for Mac and it should download the application. I'm gonna pause the video here while this download process is for you. Okay, so I have now downloaded the Ring Central desktop app and I've gone ahead and logged in. So once you've done that, you've downloaded the app or if you already had it on your computer, great, you've confirmed you're logged in. You can go ahead and minimize that window. You don't need to have the Ring Central desktop app open on your computer and in front of you. It simply needs to be downloaded and you do need to be logged in with the same user that you use in CRM. So now that I'm logged in, I'm going to go ahead and hit the save button to save this new preference that we've chosen to call through the Ring Central desktop app. And you'll notice that I've been notified that my preferences were saved successfully. And I am now able to dial out of the CRM. So when I'm in the CRM now, if I go to this lead and I go to any phone number and click the call button, what you should see is that a little pop-up will place in the soft phone, which is your Ring Central desktop app, and it's going to be placing this call. I don't have my headphones in currently, so I'm gonna have to wait a minute, let this call actually connect, go to voicemail or dial tone or whatever it may go to. And then once they've had their phone call, they'll be on there for a few minutes, let's say. When they're done the call and they click to end the call, in this case, it was a five second call since I had connected, it's going to pop up a little action window in the bottom right corner for you where it'll tell you that you've made a call and allow you to enter a description of what that call was about. So you may you know, called the lead to talk about pricing. And if you so choose, you can also create a follow-up action. So if you click the add button here and choose Zoho CRM, you could, based on this phone call, also choose to log an event or book a future call. Maybe they told you to call them back on Friday and you want to book a future call or even create a task on the record. Maybe during the call, you promised the lead that you were going to send them something or do something for them. You could create a task for yourself as well. I'll use the example of they wanted to book a future call. If I choose the call here as the follow-up action, it's going to pop up a little window here for me. It's going to pre-fill all the information about like it's this lead that I need to call. And I just need to choose when I want to schedule that future call. Let's say they wanted me to call them back on Friday at 2 p.m. So I'd go ahead and schedule that call out. And then now I've scheduled that follow-up action. I've added the description to the call. I'm going to hit done. And that's it. I've brought right from the CRM. I've clicked, dialed through Ring Central, made a call. Ring Central will automatically log a record of that call for me. If I hit the refresh button and then go to the closed activities for this lead, you will see called the lead to talk about pricing was an outgoing call on this date and time. So it lets you know that I was the user that made the call. This was the time, this is what it was about. It'll let you know the duration of the call. And it also booked the future call for me. So I now have a call scheduled on February 3rd at 2 p.m. to call this lead back to discuss further. And it's that simple. So the last thing we do need to look at here is how to troubleshoot when this is going wrong. The first thing I wanna talk about is the first time that a user dials through the phone app. You'll notice that the first time I did it in this demo, because I've done this before in my particular browser, in this case, I'm in Google Chrome on a Mac, it didn't ask me whether or not I am going to allow the browser to open Ring Central. However, the first time a user does open an app like this, you may see a pop-up that'll look something along the lines of this along the top of the screen where it will say, do you want to allow phonebridge.zoho.com to open this application? It's basically just saying, hey, your browser and your computer is trying to tell the computer to open an app. Do we want it to do that? The answer in this question, in this case is obviously yes. And so I would have selected this checkbox to always allow this to happen. And then I would have clicked the open ring central button. And that's something you should only ever really have to do once. If they see this pop up, it is fine. They'll want to just tell it to always allow this and then click open ring central and they won't get that pop up in the future. If they don't get this pop up and it also does not open the ring central app, now we've got a problem. What I would do to troubleshoot these is first things first, you want to get with the user who's, who reports that they're having an issue and you want to confirm a few things. First thing to confirm with them is when I'm logged in as you, if I click on the phone button in the bottom right corner, do I get a pop-up asking me to log in? If that's the case, then there's your issue. You're not authenticated between CRM and Ring Central. 
So Zoho doesn't have Bring Central logged in. And so it's not going to open in that app properly. If you get that pop up with the green button to log in with Bring Central, instruct them to log in. If they say, I've already logged in, I logged in in the past, why did this happen? It can be for a few reasons. They could get logged out because Ring Central ended their sessions because they reset their password, they logged in on a new device and it logged them out of their old devices. It could be anything like that. So there's a lot of things that can log you out. It could be like 60 days since you last logged in and it wants you to you know, re-authenticate you are who you say you are. Lots of reasons. Just make sure that they know that periodically they may have to click that button if they're having troubles dialing out and quickly log into the Ring Central account. Um, very similar to when you get logged out of Gmail or anything of that sort. The other thing you want to check is if it does not give you the pop-up asking you to log into Ring Central, it should instead give you this option to have preferences. If you click on preferences, you want to make sure that it still says to make my calls through the Ring Central desktop app or the soft phone if they're using the Ring Central soft phone. Whatever software they're using, you need to make sure it's enabled to call through that setting. That should tell the computer that when I click a call button, I want to try and open that app. And then your browser will handle everything from there. The next thing you want to check is do they have an up to date version of the Ring Central desktop app installed? So in my case, I'm on a Mac and I could go to about Ring Central and see if there's any software updates as an example. But you want to make sure that they're on a current version of this app because that may be the reason they're having connection issues and that they're logged in with the same user account. So if they logged into Ring Central and CRM as Brett at Zanata.com, but they're logged into the Ring Central desktop app as Jordan at Zanata.com, they would have issues. So you want to make sure you deal with that. If all of those things are true, they're, they're not getting the pop-up. They do have that setting enabled. They do have an up-to-date version of the Ring Central app. At that point, it's likely not a configuration issue that you have inside of your Zoho One admin panel or on your Zoho user side. It's likely a browser-based issue. So those are a little bit tricky to debug. It's kind of a user-by-user -user basis. I would recommend reaching out to an IT team that is familiar with opening telephone links from a browser. It could be that Google Chrome was configured in a weird way that blocks those calls. It could be that it was previously set to always open phone links in a different app like FaceTime. And so you need to somehow remove that setting so that you can replace it with the Ring Central setting. Could be a lot of things. And to determine if that's the issue, I would have that user log into another computer, another device that is working for somebody else with their Ring Central and Zoho credentials and try dialing there. And if it works, then you've identified that it's on their computer or browser that's the issue. Um, they may even be able to get away with simply opening Firefox or Safari or a different browser type and going that route. If you do run into questions that can't be solved by these troubleshooting tips, please feel free to drop us a note in the YouTube comments or on club.zanata.com where we have a great community of users who like to interact and help each other with our problems. We may be able to point you in the right direction, but realistically you are best suited with someone who can diagnose in person because it will be likely a device specific issue. We hope you found this video useful and if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Also in the description below, you will find useful links, including our resource library that includes this video and more for every Zoho product, as well as a link to Club Zanata, which is a free community where we share code snippets, answer questions, upcoming events, and a lot more. Thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.